Welcome to SBC uh, Radio, I guess. Uh, I'm Robbie. I'm here with Will, Mark, and Robin. And, you know, today we're talking about the MLB. It's no secret that they've been um, changing up their rules recently, trying to get more people to watch the game, trying to make the game go a little faster. Uh, and let's start off with the oldest rule change, the one that was implemented in the game back during the pandemic uh, in an effort to speed up games. We're talking about the ghost runner, the runner on second base to start extra innings. How are we feeling about that? Uh, well, first of all, I do want to point out that this uh, episode of SBC Radio is being filmed with a live studio audience. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so about the Ghost Runner, it's, it was an interesting decision. Obviously, you know, the reasoning behind it, they want to wrap up the games quicker, some of these regular seasons going, games going long innings. Um, so, to, you know, just quicken that up to try to get a little more offense, they added the Manfred Runner, the Ghost Runner, whatever you want to call it. I really don't like it. I gotta say, every time I'm watching a game and my team loses in a situation where a runner that wouldn't have been there, it makes me a little upset as a fan. And also, it takes away some of the fun of baseball. You know, some of those long games are just really fun to watch. Trying to wrap it up seems like it, it takes away some of the fun of the sport. Um, I'm gonna agree that I'm anti-Manfred runner, but the the really reason that I'm anti is because it just changes the game and what constitutes a run. It used to be that it was a sudden death thing and now you're changing what constitutes a run in extra innings versus the rest of the game. That seems like a ridiculous distinction to make. I mean, I get trying to speed the games up, but is it really extra innings that you have to go after? No, I think the pitch clock was a much better measure to wrap games up faster and it didn't come at the cost of one of the core components of a game, which is extra innings. Yeah, I gotta agree with both of you guys. I mean, I feel like it's just way too easy to score in extra innings now because you could get a simple ground ball that advances the runner and then a fly ball and you take the lead or walk it off. I mean, I think that they should go back. I, should, I think they should get rid of the ghost runner completely. Like, like Robbie said, I think the pitch clock is a much better way of trying to speed up games. So if we do agree on the pitch clock, I'd like to move on to one of the more obscure rule changes, which was um, the shift ban. This got a lot of talk at the beginning, but once the games actually started, no one was talking about it. What are our feelings on banning the shift? I am a big fan of the, sh of the, of the shift ban. I think that the shift, it was it was making the game like less pure as it was. I love the game, how it's normally played. And seeing like four players go to one side of the field, to one side of the infield, that just didn't quite sit right to me. And I think it gives all players a more fair and equal shot. And they want more offense, and this is how they're going to get more offense. I think there are other ways that they're trying to get more offense, such as banning sticky stuff that I personally don't like. But I think um, banning, the, banning the shift is a fine change. I disagree entirely. I feel like the, if, if you want more offense, if you want – if the shift is such a problem, just the, tell the hitters to hit around it. I mean, if, if they're – it's – you don't want to mandate it too much where these players must stand here and these players must stand here. Obviously, there is the shift allowed to some extent. It's not at that point yet. But it, for defenses to just not be able to play the game as intended, as do not to be able to play where they want to, to for optimal defense, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Looks like we have a question from one of our audience members, you in the Boston Celtics jersey. Uh, I would like to ask your opinion on the larger bases. I think we have our base stealer expert over here. Uh, as a pinch runner myself, I <laughs> love the new bases. I think it brings a lot more excitement to the game. It makes the game feel more energetic. You get to see more athletic players. You know, we all know Ellie De La Cruz. It's such an electric player to watch. And part of the reason he's able to steal so many bases is because of this new base size. I think it was a great addition. It makes the game feel faster, more electric, more athletic. And it gives an advantage to has said players who are more athletic. I think it is a great addition. You in the Nike jersey. Uh, I wanted to know, how would you feel if they drastically changed the game number to a lower number and make every game more important? Oh, the oh, like regular less season? Yeah, less yeah. regular season regular games. Regular season. I think that maybe you could find some sort of compromise, but making each baseball game more important, I think, is a mistake because at its core, it's an inherently random sport. You know, I think a lot of people have heard the statistic that to get the regular season better, regular season team to win just as much of the time in basketball, a seven-game series would have to turn into like 75 or something like that for baseball. So I think that it's a slippery slope, lowering games in the MLB, but I do also understand that a lot of diehard fans want to catch a lot more of the games than they're able to with 162. So I, I see both sides. Uh, keeping it with baseball, uh, after two straight wins versus the, versus the Orioles, do you think the Cubs are uh, primed for a late season stretch? 
Uh, I, I personally don't have a lot of faith in the Cubs. I mean, they, you know, the obviously great start to the season. They had a lot of, a lot of guys um, clicking, but then they they sputtered out. And a, a season or a series win, excuse me, against the Orioles isn't enough to really move me. Uh, I mean, obviously the Orioles are a very good team, but we were just talking about how random of a sport baseball is. I feel like one series win isn't a sign of a, a drastically changing team. When the Cubs win, it's not random. Uh, what are you guys thoughts on the team with the best record in the league right now, the Cleveland Guardians? Do you guys think they can make a run at the World Series, or are they just regular season best record? I mean, I think they can make a deep playoff run. I don't think they'll go as far as the World Series, but I mean, Stephen Kwan, he has been out, outstanding. Um, their pitching has been great. The defense has been great. I mean, they've been all around a great team. Like you said, they currently have the best record in the MLB. But I don't think they have the caliber to make it to the World Series right now. I think they're going to need to make a move or two at the deadline, and that'll that'll give them the final push they need to make the World Series. All right, and with that, it's going to wrap up today's episode of SBC Radio. Thank you to our studio audience. Thank you to my hosts, my co-hosts here, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>